I have too much gas in the car. I have to take it out for a ride to burn some gas so I can have the right amount of fuel for tomorrow's racing. Right now it's a 10 pounds. Might be a little light, we're gonna find out. But we've been stopped here in the same position for a while, so we'll see what's happening. Lots of people. There's Don, the camera guy over there talking. Number today is 175. This is the Carl Mason Mex. It's a Mercedes Benz. 6.3 AMG. Huh? I have no idea what that means, but we'll find out. All right, attention to the fence, please. Uh, speed limit today is 15 miles per hour. You see a couple cars kind of hot lapping it out of here, so I just want to encourage y'all, please, to buy by the uh, speed limit today. 15 miles an hour in the pit area. Okay, our first pass was 11.35. Reaction time wasn't that good. I got a little vibration in the car, so I'm going to go pull over and see what's going on with it. So here we go again. Kenneth and he's going to tell us some more about some of the other mods he has. Okay, this is part two of the suspension upgrade. One of the things I did here was put the strut tower brace in the trunk. This was by Speed Logics. There are various companies that make these. Some have a single bar, some have a straight bar to go across. I chose to go with the arch bar so it will still allow me to use my trunk space and not eliminate my room. Uh, this helps a lot with maneuverability on the corners and stuff like that. Um, the latest upgrade as far as the suspension that I did was I changed the end links. Okay, and the Spoon has a nice end link for this particular car versus some of the other companies. If you are not lowering your vehicle, if you lower your vehicle, I recommend adjustable suspension components BMR fabrication or suspension has those particular components that, that are adjustable. And all mine is all fixed because I'm at stock ride height. So you pretty much covered there. Uh, now for you V6 guys, I don't want you guys to get offended. The, the thing is, the cradle lockout kit is still a must even for you guys because they do flex even with a V6. But that's pretty much all you guys will really need. You don't have to go to 
the lengths that the five sevens and the six fours and the Hellcats and Demons have to go to because of the torque. Okay, so you might want to consider that. Uh, if you do a burnout with you your V6, sure. you'll notice I'm, that the rear end is still sure. going to bounce around because it's rubber, rubber bushings and stuff back here. So go with that. And that's pretty sure. much it that I have that's, to add to that. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's debadged the front or the side and the front B venom. <laughs> That's cool, GTR's beautiful car. That's who I'm running next. So we're racing a GTR. Those have always given me a hard time in the past, so we'll see how we do. This one looks like it's ready to go, so as you saw in the video. He's got a few things on it, so. We'll find out. Let's just do our best we can. All right, Nissan B GTR left lane. Up against the Dodge in the right hand lane here. Class 6 import domestic. All right, this Mopar's going to have a fan full here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I, uh, I got a bunch of them when he was doing burnouts.
Might one of the better burnouts of the day. There's a left lane. Now both parts motion up. That lane over there. <laughs> Okay, something I want to show you from today's drag racing. We marked the tire, as you can see, with uh, a, a, a marker that's kind of like shoe polish. When we marked the tire, we marked it so we could check the rotation and how much spinning was actually taking place when we look at the video. How, how, how many revolutions is a tire turning before it actually hooks? But when we pulled this apart, this is what we found. Number one, the mark for the tire is here, and the mark for the rim is over there. So the wheel, the tire actually spun on the wheel itself. Now, how many revolutions it spun around? I don't know. Uh, we're not sure about that because the tire actually spins this way. So it spins like this. So since it's all the way over here coming back, I'm sure that it probably spent at least one revolution, if not more, depending on when it was spinning. But as you can see, the, the tire even was spinning on the wheel itself, on the rim, which is incredible. But this is true. So you're gonna wanna, you might wanna mark your tires and check for that too. All right, how cool is that? Fun to have these things.